In today's video, we take a look at a woman who got rejected in the most subtle way possible, and this man who refused to pay for the drinks of this woman and gave her the bill. Why do you keep ordering drinks? You know they're $40 a drink, right? The drinks at Baccarat literally cost $30, $39. It was just a water here and then we'll go in somewhere else. Why did you bring me here then if you can't afford it? Good just question. Just look at the menu, honestly. We were just going to do a little bit of getting the atmosphere here and going somewhere else. Get a water. You know that's a $42 drink. I'm not paying for that. I'm leaving, so yes, you're paying for this bar. First things first. If the guy could not to pay for that place, then he should not have taken her there. But that does not mean for one second that she should take advantage of that and order the most expensive things on the menu. She should be respectful to the guy and order some simple stuff and not act like this woman here. So I just got rejected in the absolute weirdest way possible. Now my first thoughts are, well, most women don't get rejected, so this is actually odd. So I want to pay attention here. Let's listen. I met this guy and we kind of like hit it off in like a friend way. Hold on to that now. They hit it off in like a friend way. Keep that in mind. And he was like, if you ever want to go out sometime, like, let me know. I'm like, okay, perfect. I texted him and he wanted to go on like a double date with my friend and I. So it was like, perfect. So he had one of his guy friends, like kind of set it up with my friend and I just got this text today, and let me show you what he said. Hey, Braylee, I didn't want to ghost you, so I figured I'd just text. I think you and your friend are way out of mine in my homies league. So we both decided to not put together a date night, so we don't, I'm assuming he meant to say, waste our time. You're super hot and are going to do great here in Arizona. Best wishes. Now, based on the original, we hit it off in a friend way. I think you kind of know why he bailed on you. Because he could tell that this wasn't going to be anything more than a friendship. More than likely, he thought, hmm, she's probably just using us for a free meal or a free ride for a night. I know y'all don't like hearing that, but that's more than likely the truth. Like, are men literally okay? Like, what is going on? Because I've never heard of this in my life. I don't know how to take it. Um, I don't think I'm going to respond because I'm just like... Do you guys have girlfriends? Like, what is happening? All I could take from that was you think I'm super hot. It really had nothing to do with y'all being out of their league. It was that you thought you were out of their league. And I guarantee they picked up on it. Y'all probably talked throughout the week but while setting this date up and everything, showing the friend and the pictures and everything else. More than likely, through your text, you were acting like you were all that in a bag of chips. So their instincts of, yeah, they're just using us for a night out and free night out and free drinks and free food was probably spot on. That, my dear, is why they kind of ghosted you. And that is what happens when a woman thinks that she is too good for a guy. She gets rejected, ghosted, and whatnot, because she is just so full of herself, which in turn makes sure that she repels almost every guy, and the men she is attracted to has way more options than she can even think. Though this woman is still better than this girl, who just played with the emotions of his ex. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and... I didn't, really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. And <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. So she just used a guy as an experiment and broke his heart. But men are the ones responsible for this dating crisis. Because when you see women like her talk on these podcasts about things they did to a man, you stop feeling sorry for women like her. Oh, I don't get on TikTok to do this, but I don't know who else might be feeling the same way. I am, and I'm about to start crying. I'm 29 years old, and my birthday is February. I'm a Pisces. That means that I'm about to be 30 years old, and it's like. Hold on. And it feels like as the day go by, like, and it's getting closer, I'm like, damn, like, I saw myself in a different position, position at this age. Don't get me wrong. I'm so proud of myself. I accomplished a lot of things in life. But 
I just saw myself in a different position. And I'm just now realizing certain things that I need to change. But it took me this long, obviously. It took me this long to see that. Like, why did it take me this long to see that? And it sucks. It really sucks. It took you this long, so see your faults because you were blinded by feminism, and now as you are closing to the age of 30, you are realizing it was all a lie. It sucks so bad. Almost about to be 30, and... Fuck! It's like I'm trying to express how I feel, and I can't. Like, I can't get the words out of my mouth. I just know that it's like I feel like I'm starting from scratch. To all those girls. I just hope I'm not the only one that feels like that. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to like <laughs> be on this app and be like this sad shit because I'm not I'm not like that um at all. If you follow my Instagram, you know that's not me. I don't don't <sighs> but this is going to be like my new journey. <laughs> um, I want to laugh and cry at the same time. I'm so, oh, you ever felt like that? Like, it's like I, I want to laugh and cry. Because it's like, I'm happy that I acknowledge it now. And I'm willing to change all those things. So I can become the best version of myself. Once again, in a different level. But fuck, <laughs> I'm crying and laughing. This is so weird. <laughs> Anyways, here's to restarting my life. Learning new things, relearning new things, um, rebuilding myself mentally, physically, emotionally. Because I know for a fact my 30s is going to be my prime year. I learned what I needed to learn as a 20 year old. I made many mistakes and I learned and now we're restarting the right way. I don't know what man needs to hear this, but stop taking care of that woman who is not treating you well, not appreciating you, not respecting you. You do not win an award for sticking around. You do not win an award for saving her. In fact, all you are doing is drowning yourself in the process.